Hello guys, how are you feeling after that big static fire test yesterday? In this video, we will see what is next for Booster 7. Possible timeline for the orbital test flight according to Elon Musk. Final preparation of the Artemis 1 launch. And finally, India's first private rocket mission. Following a successful static fire test yesterday, with a massive ball of flames and clouds of dust in the South Texas launch site, Elon Musk says everything went nominal for Booster 7. The only thing that went off the script was the debris from the floor concrete raining all over the launch pad. The orbital launch Mount Legs post-static fire looked a bit toasty but it was expected. I don't know if there is a need to repaint the legs after every test. Other than that, the whole Stage 0 still looks so robust. Elon further said, there will be another 20-second long static fire test on Booster 7 and another one before attempting a test flight. The tweet doesn't clearly mention if it's gonna be all 33 engines or just 14 engines again, but my guess is, before an actual flight, testing all the engines would be the correct procedure. We are just two static fire tests away from the first orbital flight. As NASA said earlier this month, I think SpaceX will surely try to launch the first ever full-stack Starship next month. NASA officials have already given a go for a launch attempt of the Artemis 1 mission on Wednesday. Teams have completed replacing and fixing a few parts of the rocket that got damaged due to Hurricane Nicole. The official countdown clock already began at 1.54 am on Monday. I will stream the broadcast of the launch here on this channel. So, come and enjoy the first mission of the Humans Return to the Moon program. The two-hour window for launch opens at 1.04 am Eastern Standard Time. Skyroot Aerospace, which is one of India's startup rocket companies, is confident of launching the country's first private rocket to space. Vikram S rocket is currently targeting Friday, November 18, 11.30 am local time for liftoff from Satish Dhawan Space Center. The rocket will carry three payloads to space. Skyroot was founded in 2018 with its headquarters in Hyderabad. This will be such a historic mission for the country, which will break the barrier of the government-controlled space industry and its long history of spaceflight program. We know what the Indian scientists are capable of. I wish all the best to the mission and everyone involved in it. We have to remember, space is for everyone. Another American startup aerospace company, ABL Space Systems attempted yesterday to launch its first RS-1 flight mission. Two CubeSats are on board the rocket, but the launch was scrubbed due to off-nominal data showing up at T30 minutes. The next launch opportunity is still yet to be decided. Well, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching and see you again with more space updates in the next video.